Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. The last time we uh, explored these books, we got them in some sort of correct order and opened up this secret passage. So let's go see what we've unlocked, shall we? Nothing? We can't go in? Oh, okay, we can. Oh, it's one of these dudes, these, these new fellows. The Mystery of Life. Volume 841, Chapter 26. All life begins and ends with new. This is the undeniable truth, because I believe it to be so, at least for the present. Oh, really? Oh, all right, all life begins and ends with new. You're new? Are you new? The guru of reason is gone. Do you want to challenge me? Uh, sure. All right, prepare yourselves. Okay, monkey thing. Whoa. Uh, I wasn't really getting into that. Maybe. Uh, all right. Um, Falcon Strike. Wow. Everybody's at like zero HP. Is that what's going on here? Yikes. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're dead, I think. So the. F oh, wait. Nope. They didn't do it. Uh oh. Now they did. Nope. Yikes! <laughs> this is a scary, scary fight, isn't it? Wow, you guys should stop. Hmm. Alright, so we gotta get Frog to heal people. That's one step here. Jeez. These things are super rude. Oh my goodness. Stop! Stop! Stop it, news! Stop it. <laughs> Why are you so rude? If he dies right now. Okay. He, he lives. Can we get a falcon strike off? Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, we killed him. Okay. So now we only have three to deal with. So we're going to have Frog, I think, heal every time. And the rest, and the other two just Falcon Strike a bunch. Man, these news. Ow. Please stop. How many times do I have to ask? Oh my goodness. Did I kill him? Ha ha! Mission successful! Kill the news! 744 experience? Wow, that's... 90 TP? Wow, that's a lot. Lord Strong! Take this! All that for a magic capsule? Oh, and a speed capsule. Nice. No. Oh, 
Okay. All that for a magic capsule and a speed capsule, though? Really? Well, that was... Whew, that was a secret, if I've ever secreted. And I know a secret when I secret one. Let's go ahead and give Isla a magic up. Again, we're just giving these to the person in our party who has the lowest of whatever stat it is without any sort of thought of, other than that. All right, heal up. Heal up, heal up, heal up. And let's continue exploring. Ta-da! Land bridge. What does this do? Oh, it's another one of these thingies. Ooh. Oh, it, us, it takes us down to the ground. I thought it was going to take us up further. Huh. Well, what do we have to do down here? Where are we? What year are we in? Are we in the future? The far distant future? Somewhere between... We're in 12,000 BC? What? But how? No way. 12,000 BC... That seems unrealistic. Okay. Well, huh. Look at this. It's so pretty. What a cool area. A blackbird. What's a blackbird? Whoa. Some ominous music playing. Why are you here? All is well within the blackbird I uh, all is well with the blackbird I presume. She is fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is, you blundering idiot. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You, what are you doing there? Hmm, those clothes. You must be the ones the prophet said would come to interfere. I think I shall watch for the time being and see how he plays his hand. Not that I suspect he'll tip his cards so easily. Ha! Uh, alright. The blackbird's a symbol of Azil's advancement. Never dreamed anything so big could fly, eh? No, I did not. In fact, I come from, you know... 13,000 years in the future, and uh, we don't have anything that flies like that, so it's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and save here real quick. Kahar. This is the magic city of Kajar. We perform magic in the magical, we perform research in the magical arts to help further Her Majesty's plans to deliver our kingdom to even greater glory. Isn't that fancy? Your power differs from ours. It's difficult to describe, but in you I sense a strange kindness. Well, thank you. Ha! Okay. Ha! Okay. There. In ancient times, People crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of rainbow-colored shell with the sun's stone power. But now, only the guru of life knows the art of crafting such things. And even if others did, the queen has ordered us to abandon use of the, uh, of the sun's power. Ah, such beauteous contentment there, in, er, there is in a newly blossomed bud. Would that I could be a flower. Okay. Beauteous contentment. I appreciate that wording. This is a font of recovery. Rest your wearied mind and body within, traveler. Okay. That's the sun temple which you see on the southern sky isle. The sunstone, once our primary source of power, was enshrined there. However, the temple was sealed up along with the northern shrines and once we turned our, to our new energy source. The queen claimed we'd no need for the energy of the, the tired old sun. Well, that's upsetting.
Hey, new. All all things begin and end with you, apparently. Oh, fire! Fire! New, talk to me. Dot 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 dot. Anything you need to buy? Okay. I have platinum armor too, but I need Her Majesty's permission to sell it. Ah, okay. What tempest must, must rage in young Lord Yanis's head? His only friend, other than his sister, is that cat that follows him about. We've been seeing a great deal of young Lord Lan Yanis lately. Before, he scarcely showed his face, but now he paces around quite often, always looking upset. Hmm, wonder why that would be. Her Majesty Queen Zeal has two children, Lady Shala and young Lord Yanis. Lady Shala is an incredible child with an extraordinary magical powers. With such a gift, her life must be all ease and luxury. You would think. I heard Lady Shala's powers far surpass those of her mother. Then there's her brother, young Lord Yanis. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but doesn't seem to have the faintest trace of magical ability. Weird. I've been working to fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skill, but my precious products have been disappearing in recent days. It must be that naughty new that took them. They do so love pranks. He's no doubt hidden them about. How can I work like this? I think he just gave me a couple of them. Oh, that capsule's not been completed yet. Too bad, eh? Ha ha ha. What up, new? Hey. Talk to me, buddy. Talk to me. Okay, don't talk to me. Fine. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I do not know the details, but I heard he has powers most uncanny. Weird. Zeal's progress stems from our new energy source. Its power far surpasses that of the sun's elemental energy. What's the new? What's this new energy source? Please share. The gurus of life, time, and reason dwell in zeal. Their knowledge and skill is without equal. Okay. Hey, new. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. Huh. We'll have to remember that for later. A guru once told me that the sunstone once held all the nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, that energy was slowly depleted, and it turned into the lightless moonstone. Weird. Know this, know you this, traveler. The moonstone could be restored to a glorious sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm light. But such would require eons. None of us will ever witness that gorgeous glow again. Wonder if there might be a way for us to leave a stone somewhere for eons. Hmm. No, that wouldn't be possible. No, no. The structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the Ocean Palace, a symbol of our Queen's greatness. The palace is the beacon of light which will guide us to a brighter future. All praise the great and wondrous Queen Zeal. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace. It seems even they have their purpose. Huh. Behold, that out the window is the great blackbird built by Balthazar, guru of reason. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it alive. The guru is a genius. Wonderful. Great to know. The construction of the ocean palace has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting palace beneath the waves, it'll be a sight to see when it's finished. Sounds like it. Ha 
How is it that we came to have the powers we do? Why do some possess the gift while others lack it? It's a conundrum. It is. My, you've an unusual aura. You must possess the gift too. Yours seems a very primitive compared to ours though. You poor thing. Those lacking in magic are known as the earthbound ones. They have always lived beneath the clouds. It's only fitting, after all, they lack our talents. Those poor, sodden fools. Well, we'll have to continue talking to people around this area next time. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed our little uh, adventures and just chatting with people. It's uh, always fun to just get the, get the full scope of the world. But yeah, for now, I will let you go. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.